my channel. Um, today we are filming a little bit of a different video. I'm actually going on holiday for a week. Um, we're going up to Scotland and we're going to be doing something called the North Coast 500. If you have um, never heard of it before, it's essentially where you drive around the, t the um, top coast of Scotland. So we're going to be doing that for about a week. Um, I can't remember if it's five or seven days that we're gone for um, and I thought I would film packing my journaling kit that I'm going to take with me. I'm putting everything, I'm going to be putting everything into this Delphonics pouch. I do need to empty it first because there's all sorts of stuff in here um, and I just think that this is a really good, oh, um, I just think this is a really good size pouch to take with you to include all of your journaling supplies and things um, and I will probably also take maybe like my pen roll and things and, and my sketchbook just so that I've also got stuff that's not just for journaling but also for if I feel like doing some actual artwork and things. Um, so yeah I thought I would just, I haven't planned this, I haven't properly thought out what I want to take with me so I am just jumping in <laughs> um, and I'm going to start by taking everything out of here that is in here now. This generally lives in my planner basket which I've been meaning to do a video on sorting out because it is a mess <laughs> and this just lives on, um, it lives on the shelf behind me where I sit at my desk and I just keep all sorts of planning stuff in there and I just keep all sorts of planning and journaling stuff in here normally um, so I thought yeah I will sort I'll take everything out put in what I need sort it all out and um, then we can I'll be ready basically to um, for to start packing which I'm not gonna lie I'm feeling slightly anxious because um, this trip has kind of crept up on me really quickly and I'm I've I've literally just written a to-do list of everything that I need to do before before we go and um it's very long <laughs> very long uh, much longer than I would like it to be before I go on a trip um so I yeah I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed which is why I'm doing this so that it is done and I don't have to think about it anymore like when I when it comes to me being ready to actually pack um, I can just pack it and and away I go um, so like I say I'm just gonna take everything out so because there's all sorts shoved in here um. <laughs> okay Ooh, there's a random paper clip there as well um, so this is the oh now is it the medium or is it the large I can't remember um, it does have, hang on, I can show you, I can compare actually, uh, oh so it's the medium, so it has 15 pockets. I do have as well, this is the small one that I did used to use as my pencil case and I now use it as like a bit of a like on the go tech bag, um, like I keep like um, camera SD cards and things in here um, for if I'm on the go and um, it has like charging cables and stuff um, and other random things so let's um, go through what was in here so I will want to take that clip because it holds my notebook open so let's sort this into piles actually so we'll have a going in pile over on this side and a um, put it away somewhere else pile over here so these two notebooks, um, this one is, this one I made and then this one is from Chelsea Paper Co, I think. These are Tomoe River notebooks. I've actually got a notebook coming to me that I'm going to be using for this trip. Um, so I won't need to take either of those two. I am going to be using my travel journal. So this is my um, travel journal. It's a Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy Buttered Rum um, in the A6 size. It's been heavily rolled. I um, A couple of months ago I basically got fed up with how stiff it was and I rolled the heck out of it basically. I stretched it and rolled it and I was just like you know what I want this to be soft and supple. It was really quite stiff um, 
so I just thought you know what sort of I'm going to roll it and I also moisturised the inside because um, this was really rough I mean it is still quite rough to be honest it's not a smooth soft interior it's definitely more of a rough interior um, and I used randomly I used some Burt's Bees foot cream which this is um, it's coconut based so it actually has like um, kind of separates so it's almost it's almost like an oil um, and then like a a rich sort of balmy bit in it as well so yeah um it's been heavily heavily rolled and moisturized just to give it a little bit more flexibility so I am going to be using this and I'm going to be um the notebook that I've got coming is a another um blue sticky one so um this is Blue Steed's website so it's actually it's Michaela who is a friend of mine she is part of our local Etsy team and um, I have had a few notebooks made for, made by her over the years so I have this little one which says happy moments um, and this is just to write down um, just little happy moments basically um, I have another one which isn't in here at the moment by her and then I also have one that is that I had made for our Florida trip last year which obviously didn't happen because of Covid um, so that one is is filled up because I turned it into a Covid journal um, and when we do eventually get to Florida I will re I will do a new one I'm going to I think leave my felt folder in here uh, oh, I've got a winning, I've got a winning scratch card there. Uh, I need to go and cash that in. <laughs> um, I have just in this little pocket some blotting paper, um, and then I have some paper from Choosing Keeping, and then I have a little um, library pocket. Then in the back pocket here I have my sticker release um, Travellers Company notebook which I might put some stickers in there actually for this for this trip. So this is just a felt folder that I made myself and I embroidered it um, and then I've stuck a couple of patches on it um, and I just like to have it spread across the back really. I have a little um, a found card there and then in here I have, what do I have? I have a picture of Bert. Uh, a picture of the Lincolnshire countryside and a couple of little um, business cards and things and a Coveco sticker um, I'm going to take um, those out I might keep the little picture of Bert in there just so that he's there too for me to see um, so yeah the notebook is coming it's not here yet though so um, completely my fault I left it really late to order so I think what I might put in here, let's keep it simple. Just because I have four strings doesn't mean I have to actually fill four strings. I um, have to remind myself of this fairly regularly. <laughs> um, I'm going to put my folder around one string. It's going to make it massive, but it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, and then um next to that I would have my next um I would have my little notebook I am going to put in this is my little um art material swatch book so in here I have my paints swatched and my color pencils swatched um and I like to take this with me if we go somewhere just because if I um if I spot anything if I spot any art shops <laughs> or stationery shops I do like to go in and I do like to pick up the odd thing so I like to have a reference of which ones I've already got basically um I think actually I'm going to put my commonplace book it back in because if I see any quotes or anything I will want to be able to write them down so I think I'm going to put that back in and then like I said I'm just going to leave um the next string just for my blue sticky book when it arrives so that will go on this one and then what I will probably do in here is actually print off um, I might make a tiny little insert just with our itinerary and things in um, just so that I've got it written down or I might even just make it and just tuck it into one of these pockets um, because it is obviously like a, a, a tour type thing we're driving there is a lot that um, 
we need to keep track of like we've got a booking a different hotel booking every night and so on so um yeah i want to sort of keep that together i'm going to keep the found card and i will see how i feel about filling the little pockets and things so for now i'm just going to leave that as it is and let's go back to things that i definitely want to be in my little pouch so let's put the um let's put my journal in the pouch to begin with because obviously that takes up um quite a bit of space <laughs> Um, I definitely want to have this little Penko clip in there because it holds my journal open. I also am going to put in this little Traveller's Company clip. This one um, was on my um, sketchbook and I mean that is where it lives basically. <laughs> Actually do you know what I'm going to clip these on the outside just because these pockets on the outside are so unusable <laughs> so if I can make them worthwhile then I will and um, because I've got those two clips I don't really need these little ones because they're much more heavy duty the big ones so let's put those up there um stamps right let's actually let's get this out of the way so this is my um my HP sprockets. I am going to take this with me. I will need some paper. Um, I'm only going to. Mm, I'll take two. I'll take two packs of paper. There is already some paper in it as well. Um, and I will also need the charging cable. There's no charging cable in. Oh no, there is. <laughs> there we go. Um, and I am going to also. I always keep one of these with it. Um, this is like the smart sheet that goes through with each pack of paper um, and I, I like to keep one with it just in case. Um, so these are going to go in one of the pockets at the back here with the little charging cable. Stamps. Okay. I don't do a huge amount of stamping, but I do do a little bit of stamping. I've not even opened this one up. Um, so I have got I've got these little stamps that I think I don't know if to take both or just take one. Oh. I'll do this next. I'll be really annoyed if then I'm like wanting to stamp somewhere and I can't. Um, let's see how things fit in here. Yeah. Um, for now I'm going to put both both in. Will that stand up? Yes. So I'm just going to took, took both um, in there and then I have these two tiny little VersaFine ink pads. Um, one's sepia and one is black. Um, just get it to focus. There you go. Um, and they're teeny tiny little ink pads. They're so good for putting in like a little journaling kit like this because they just they're just so small. Um, they don't take up a huge amount of room. So let's have a look at what else have I got here. So I've got all my Ollie clips, which they're in there because this is where they that's where they live. I don't have anywhere else for them. Um, this pom clip I don't need, so I'm going to put that in my little pencil clip pot. These I'm going to put in my journaling basket again. Putty eraser. Hmm. So I'm thinking I'm going to take my drawing kit, like my art, my art pen roll, just in case. Um, and because I, I can keep my, I can keep some coloured pencils in here. So yeah, I'm going to leave that as it is like that but I, I am going to take this so obviously it's not going to fit in my um, journaling bag there it'll just be on its own it'll be on its own um, so putty eraser mm. hmm I'm not going to take it because I'm not going to be taking watercolours on this trip I'm just doing coloured pencil so yeah I sort of I feel like I don't need quite as much if I'm doing that bone folder not going to need that 
um, scissors. I'm going to take a different pair of scissors. I think I'm actually going to take this pair of scissors and I might actually just take this whole um, stationery kit. I am going to take the white out, out though because it does make a mess um, and I'm not going to take that one either. So I'm going to have these scissors with me so I don't think that I need to carry these ones. Yeah, I think if I've got those then I've got you know a bit of everything that I need really here and um, I will fill up my fountain pens before I go as well so that'll be coming with me um, it might be in here it might not I haven't decided yet um, and I do actually need to use it this week so <laughs> um, don't need acrylic stamping blocks I'm not taking any um, clear stamps so that can go back in there this is just a little bit of decoration so that can go somewhere else um, right, adhesives. So I will need some adhesives for sticking things in. I have two that I like. So I have this Tombow Pit um, glue stick pen. So I'll put that one in. And then I also have these little tape runners. This is a, t a Tessa glue. Um, and I have these linked in my Amazon um storefront so if you ever want to find those but I, I like these because they're so small it's so dinky um there was a tiny little paintbrush in here which as I said I'm not going to be taking watercolors this time so I don't need that and I also don't need the water brush so I'm going to put these in my art basket another paper clip <laughs> they get everywhere so that sorted out everything that was in there except for some washi tape but we will talk about washi in a second so let's start adding in things that i do want to um take with me additionally so um first this is like my pen case that has all of my other pens in i think the only pen that i'm going to take extra is i'm going to take a food a pen so that I can do some um, lettered um, titles if I want to. So this one is the Tombow Fudo pen and it's the one that's got both black and grey on it. So I'm going to take that, so I'm just going to tuck that in a pocket. Um, I do want to take a pencil board just because obviously um, sometimes need a little bit more sturdiness in um, when I'm writing and things so this one is the one from Taroko Design so I'm just going to tuck that in actually I'm going to put that in the journal itself no let's put it in the back page there we go so that'll just keep that nice and neat Right, now we come to all of the other things I could possibly want to take with me. And they tend to be quite numerous. Um, and I generally, do you know, I always, I take so much ephemera and things and I don't end up using most of it. Um, I do want to take um, some washi though and I'm thinking I might actually stick it in this little um, sticker book to keep it safe so that I'm not having to take whole rolls and also so that I'm not having to make up little washi cards. Um, so let's do that, let's do some little washi samples. So this little tin um, has got a few of my favourite washies in. And then this bag which was from um, the UK Planner Addicts Big Meat is where the rest of my washi lives. Okay, so I've picked the tapes that I want to put some samples in my notebook of. Uh, not notebook, sorry, in my little sticker book. So let's do that. I'm going to leave that sticker. That sticker was um, from my 
superior labour order. Let me grab just clip it open while I do this. I think I am going to take the black tape with, mm, no, should I take the black tape? Should I take the white tape? Do, 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 which one? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take the white tape. So I'm just going to put one strip of black tape up there. Uh, I think I'm going to take the white tape because I've got skinny black tape whereas I don't have skinny white tape and obviously if I want some skinny white tape I could actually just cut the um, the roll and then I'm going to put that one into the bag. So I might put some more things in there we'll see how we go. So let's start going through bits and bobs. So in here I've got some random scraps of paper. Um, these are like washi stickers. Oh, I might take that one. Oh, and that one. And that one. <laughs> So I'm going to take these. These are photo corners um, and I just like to use them to stick my photos into my journal. So I'm definitely taking some of those. Um, have a look at what we've got here. Some more paper textures, okay. So I think I'm going to put those in um, the little sticker book. These little scraps and things will go in a little folder of some sort. Um, those, yeah, I'm going to put those in the sticker book, I think. Those will go in the folder. One thing that I will want to put in my, um, in my little notebook when it arrives is one of these. These are um, book plates that um, Claire from Libraries and Archives Paper Co sent me. They are beautiful. They're, they've got like an old illustration of some books on and they've actually got some foiling on as well which I don't know if you'll be able to see. There you go. Um, so I'll put one of those in the front of the notebook probably. Now this little card that I got from um, Note and Wish, and I think I might put that in actually. Okay, I found it. So I've just been looking for this little pocket. This um, is, if you order direct from Rifle Paper Co, they send your receipt out in one of these little pockets. And I have two, I've got this one and then I've got a winter Christmassy one that's got mistletoe on it. And I didn't want to use the mistletoe one, I wanted to use this one. Um, so I am going to pop all of these little bits of ephemera and paper and things in there to keep them safe. Um, I'm gonna put in one of these little Midori um, 
little envelopes just to, in fact actually I'm going to put this in the actual journal itself. Let's put it in this pocket here. Um, and that's basically just for me to put little bits and bobs in as I'm going around during the day. Uh, I've just found something I was looking for. Um, my friend Kerry sent me these amazing stickers um, sometime last year and I meant to do a post about them and completely forgot because I lost them in the depths of all of my bits and bobs but they're nature stickers and they're of her illustrations which are insane so she draws these with um, coloured biro so I think I'm going to take some of these I'm going to take some heather because obviously Scotland um, I might take a little deer as well just because you know there are little deer in Scotland let me see if it'll there you go um, and maybe a little bunny um, I think it's a bit early to see a robin but take a couple of birdies and then I will take a couple of butterflies just in case we see some butterflies though I have a feeling we will see more midges than butterflies to be honest <laughs> I am also going to take one of the little library pockets so that I've got it and I'm actually going to take a little bit of this paper from She's In Keeping because we should be going to quite a few different beaches so I'm just going to because uh, this has obviously got like fossils and shells and things on so I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to take a little bit of this beautiful paper from Claire from Libraries and Archives Paper Co. as well, just because it's a really pretty pattern. Um, so let's put those in there. Then I have my other bits and bobs bags. <laughs> um, I keep these in these Glossier pouches and just random little pouches that I've got. Um, and there's a bit of all sorts in these. These are like more modern ephemera, I think, if I remember rightly. Have a look. So onto these bags. So let me just, because that is actually a, it's not a sticker. Oh, okay. So this one's got all sorts in. I really should come up with a better way of storing these. Um, So this one looks to just be more um, textured papers and things, so I'm just not going to bother with that one. One thing I do want to take are a few index cards, um, just because they're quite handy to write things on and stick in. Um, I'm thinking I might take some of these words, I don't know, I've not used those before. Um, and then I'm just going to put, I picked these because they're just plain colours, so they can make good backgrounds. I love a little doily, so I'll put a doily in. Put that little pocket in there. Right, so let's stick some of these stickers in.
so that's it for stickers for now um, and I think that's going to be it for like paper bits as well I just I don't feel like I need um, loads more in there actually I've just remembered I've got these vintage ticket stubs So those two I'm definitely going to put on there because, like I say, Avi Moore is in the Highlands and then the Flying Scotsman, like, got to have those in there. That is now it for ephemera, I think, so I'm going to put that in there. Um, the only thing really left that I need to think about is pens. So obviously I've said I'm going to take my, um, my pen roll. And I am probably going to be taking my little pen case. Um, so I'll have my fountain pens um, and my Kaweco pen. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking I might also want some extra pens and pencils. Um, obviously I've got some colouring pencils in this pen roll, but because I'm not taking watercolours I might want some more um, other ways of adding a bit of colour so I'm just grabbing I've got my Tombos I think I'm going to take 158 maybe a brown 977 Ochre 026 and a red 885. I don't think I need any other colours really. Mm, maybe a light brown. So I'm just going to tuck those. I think they might have to go lengthways. So actually let's take my pen case out and put them down there. So coloured pencils, I've got a selection here but they're all quite, um, one pale and two quite muted colours, they're not, um, not terribly bright ones. So, I think that should cover me for most eventualities. Let's just swatch them out just to be sure. gives me like a good variety of colours for most eventualities. I kind of want to see if I can get them all to fit in here, even though I know I'm going to be pushing it. I'm not going to need the Fudo pen and I'm not going to need the extender because I'm not going to go through any of these pencils that quickly. I'm going to leave the microns I think, actually no, I'm going to put the microns in there because I tend to reach for my fountain pens more and then and then let's put the colour pencils just in here and um, these are all Faber-Castell po polychromos but I do also have um, Prismacolor that I use um, And I do also have, um, I have like watercolour pencils, but like I say, because I'm not 
using a Tomoe River notebook this time. Um, the ones that Michaela makes are cartridge paper notebooks. So, ooh. so um, I think I'm just going to stick with put my little rag down the back. You know what? Let's just let's just tuck them in there. Okay, so that is my pen roll all ready to go. I've just torn this little colour palette out because I like to have it to refer to. So I'm just going to tuck it in there. I think that's I think that's what I'm going to be taking. Um, yeah, I, kind of, I feel like I don't. Do you know? I'm, I am going to tuck these inside. <laughs> All these pockets on the outside, and they're just so impractical. <laughs> that's it I think that is what I am going to be taking with me um, so I've got my journal kit with my travel journal some ephemera scraps a little sticker book with some washi samples a little bit more washi adhesives and things I've got my little um, superior labor pen case that's got my fountain pens and scissors and things in I've got a few tombos down the bottom some stamps and some tiny little ink pads in here too um, little clips I've got my sprocket um, and then we've got my pen roll that's got all of my art drawing materials in. And then this is my traveller's notebook that has my sketchbook in it. And this, um, again, this is another blue sticky notebook. And I just use this one as my, my proper sketchbook for actually drawing things in. Um, so, yeah, I think that is... But yeah, I think that is my kit ready to go um do you know i feel so much relief in knowing that this is just it's literally ready to go all i am going to be doing is putting in the notebook and obviously i'm going to be using this this week so i will just slot it in there before i go um but yeah i can't yeah i'm so so relieved to have this all ready and set up and it can just go in my bag ready so i hope that you enjoyed this video um if you did please do like and subscribe if you have any questions about anything um if i didn't mention where something was from um please do ask down below and if i know where it was from i will um share that in the um in a reply comment um i hope to if i if i do um manage to complete my journal while i'm away i will hopefully um share it with you maybe if it's not too personal um and yeah just kind of share what i've got um sort of what our adventures were i don't know if i'm gonna vlog or not i haven't decided um i sort of i feel like if i if i vlog it it maybe won't feel like a holiday <laughs> so um yeah i will have to see how i feel but um, certainly I, um, I hopefully will be sharing um, how it went over on Instagram probably. Uh, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, then um, there's always a link in the description box below. But thank you very much for watching. And um, if you're going on, a, on any trips this summer, um, I hope that you have a good time. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.